I'm Mark Bell and I'm on my 10 minute walk. Today we're going to talk about fasting. I know I talk a lot about fasting and I made a lot of previous videos about fasting. But right now I'm going to talk to you about ways to make your fasting more simple and also uh, just like shit to do while you're fasting because if you don't have stuff to do then you're going to be thinking about food. At least that's what happens to me. So I'm going to give you some things to occupy some space in your stomach that will help you with fasting. Uh, that's not calories. And then I'm also going to give you some suggestions towards things that I think you should do that will be productive for fasting. So number one is water. I know you hear people say, Hey, drink a lot of water. I'm not really encouraging you to drink like tons of water. However, sometimes when we're hungry, we're not even really actually hungry. We're more thirsty than anything. In addition to that, sometimes the craving that we have and the hunger that we have is just because uh, our body wants protein. And so those are, those are things that are going to kind of occupy your mind the entire day. How do we fend that off? Well, we can fend it off with water. We can fend it off with sparkling water. And I know some of you are thinking like, this is, uh, this is ridiculous because, uh, you know, sparkling water, how's that going to fill me up? But trust me when I say when you're on a diet, especially when you're on the diet that I'm on right now, Today's day number 10 of the carnivore diet. When you're on this diet, anything different, anything different than water or meat or eggs is a real refreshing thing. So a Pellegrino or something like that can really help a lot during a fast. Additionally, now we also have uh, bone broth. So you can implement some bone broth into your diet and bone broth does have calories. And the way that I make my bone broth has a lot of calories, but we're not going to do it that way because we're fasting. During a fast, if you can consume under about 50 calories or so, and in this case it might even be less, because I think half a thing of the bone broth that I use, I use epic bone broth. There's also fire kettle or kettle fire, something like kettle fire, that sounds right. Um, when you use about half a serving of that, it's going to have like 30 calories, 40 calories, something pretty insignificant. All you need to do is heat it up, add a little bit of salt to it and it tastes really good and it's something that's going to help uh, prolong your fasting. In addition to that, you may have heard of other things that you can do like bulletproof coffee and some things like that. And those things have helped me in the past. Um, but I also think that that is a different style of fasting and that's not the fasting we're talking about. Now I would put that into its own separate category, which I would call a coffee fast where you have some calories for the day and you're breaking your fast because you're having two, 300 calories from the butter and cream or the butter and MCT oil that's in your coffee. So now, what are some things that we can do when we're trying to fast? Because we gotta, we gotta figure out a way to, we gotta figure out a way to make it through this day with an 18 hour fast or a 20 hour fast or however long it is that you're trying to fast for. The number one thing, the number one thing in my opinion that will kill a lot of your hunger is exercise. So lifting weights and having a good uh, tough workout of jujitsu or a good strong cardio session will really annihilate your hungers all the way to the point where for the hour or so that you're training, that's an hour that you're not eating. In addition to that, it might take you 30 minutes to get to the gym. So 30 minutes there, 30 minutes back. Now we're talking about two hours, right? Um, in addition to that, a lot of times when you have a really hard workout, the last thing on your mind is to eat. So that's another thing that can help occupy your time. Other rules for fasting and other things that can help improve and make your fasting less painful. Make yourself busy. Find a way to make yourself very busy on these days that when you want to fast. I want to also suggest and recommend that if you are new to dieting, if you're new to any style of diet that you're currently on right now, I would urge you not to fast. I would urge that you get used to the foods that you're eating. I would encourage you to eat. I would encourage you to get used to the foods. That's going to be the most important thing whenever starting any style of diet. Now beyond that, when we're trying to fast and we're trying to figure out how to stay on this damn fast, how we're trying to figure out how to stay on this damn plan without eating anything. So what we're going to do, 
we're gonna find some ways to make ourselves very busy. It could be a day that's overloaded with work. It could be just something you need to just figure out how to occupy your time. Maybe you're like, you know what? I'm gonna go visit my mom. You know what? I'm gonna go visit my dad. I'm going to, I'm going to go for a run. I'm going to go for a 10 minute walk. A 10 minute walk is another great thing that can help with fasting. And it's another, you know, a 10 minute walk is actually kind of interesting because it's the signal for me that the day is over and it's also a signal for me uh, that my eating is over. So after I do my 10 minute walk, I'm sorry, after I eat dinner, the first thing that I do is I go and I brush my teeth. That's a signal that this shit is over. And that's the start of my fast. Once you brush your teeth, like if you brush your teeth and then you try to eat a steak, it'd be disgusting, right? You ever brush your teeth and drink orange juice? It's horrible, but who doesn't love orange juice? Orange juice actually, actually tastes really good. But after you brush your teeth, it's gross, right? Brush your teeth, hit up your 10 minute walk. Something I do is I put on my kicks, I put on my shoes. If, even if I'm about to eat and I'm at home and my shoes are already off, I put my shoes on I sit down, I eat, and why did I put my shoes on? Because I'm already set up to go and, and hit up my 10 minute walk. So that way there's no hurdles, there's no barriers, there's no like, oh man, I gotta find my shoes and I gotta find my jacket. I get everything all ready to go and sometimes I walk a little daisy and sometimes I'll get her leash ready to go and I get everything all set even before I eat my meal so that as soon as I'm done eating the meal, I have no excuses. Those are some simple ways that you can incorporate. Those are some simple things that you can uh, bring into your life to help make your fasting easier. Another thing is to tell people that you're fasting. So you don't have to run around telling everybody that you're fasting like a freak, but it's important that you let your partner know. It's important that you let your mom know, your brother know, uh, your business associates, when they say, hey man, you want a brownie? You're like, no dude, I'm, I'm actually, I'm, I'm doing a new thing, I want to get in better shape, and I've been working on some intermittent fasting. That might encourage them to kind of join you, or they might say, that's stupid or whatever, but whatever heat they're going to give you, it's only going to last for a second. Anyway, I really hope that you found a lot of these tips to be uh, crucial. I hope you found them to be valuable, and I got one more giant tip for fasting. And it's right here. Whoa, bam Mind bullet. I know I sell products and I, and I know that sometimes some people get a little bit weird about when you, when you give them a sales pitch, but it has really sincerely, honestly helped me with the fasting. I know it's helped my brother with fasting and it's helped thousands and thousands of other people that have bought MindBullet. If you want to check it out, you can go over to mindbullet.com. It helps a ton with cravings. One of the things I think it does and one of the mechanisms that I think that it can help you with fasting. Uh, I don't have any science to back this up or anything like that, but it, just because it puts you in a better mood and it helps occupy your mind, I think that just because of that simple fact, I think that's part of the reason why it's helping you with fasting. And look, let's face it, when you're in a better mood, everything is easier. Lifting is easier. The pain you have in your elbow is a little easier. Uh, everything becomes easier and everything becomes more pleasant when you're in a good mood. Thank you guys so much for following along. I really appreciate it. Let me know your thoughts on some of the tips that I left you for today, but also I wanna hear about what tips you have. What are you guys doing? What are you utilizing uh, to get through your intermittent fasting? I have recently just switched over. This is uh, day number three of doing one meal a day, the OMAD diet. And uh, that's, that's been quite difficult for me. It's something that I would nev never been able to tackle if I didn't work my way into it as I have now. But a lot of these strategies have helped me to fast for 18 hours, 20 hours. And now I guess you'd say like more like 23 hours a day. Going to see a movie with my kids later today. And my one meal a day will be at Burger Saloon in Woodland and I'm gonna eat the hell out of that food before I go see the movie 1917 I think that's the movie um, and, but it's taken me a long time to build into this because of some of those fasting tips it's really helped me so I want to hear from you guys on what are some of your uh, favorite fasting tips strength is never a weakness weakness is never a strength thank you so much for following along 